Hey guys, good morning. Hope you're doing well. Want to share some key thoughts. If you were to look through the news, pay attention. How many articles are you seeing now on Reconstruction? Very few. Okay, you're seeing very few articles on Reconstruction. Let's let's uh, let's elaborate on that. Okay, guys, with the intel I provided to you, I literally walked you up to the June July time frame with very credible intel. Okay, and then at the beginning of June. They, uh, they were talking big time about reconstruction and now reconstruction is starting to fall off the map. And they were even on track to finish the elections. If you look carefully at the elections, the elections also fell off the map. So what's going on? Why is this happening? Well, oh, quite a while ago, I had shared something with you guys and way too many people got confused. I was on, I was heavily on to the China trade agreement. Okay. Uh, guys, I've still had that in the back of my mind, but I backed off of it because too many of you guys got confused. And the other reason I backed off on it, because it appeared to be going in the right direction. That's why I backed off. I didn't want to keep confusing you guys. I figured if I kind of got off the China trade, guys, it's real simple. Okay. China has a ton of dinar. They've helped Iraq over many, you know, tens, tens or tens, fifteens, twenties of years, tremendously helping out Iraq. They have a ton of dinar. Okay, it's really important for Trump to close and seal this trade deal with China because if 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 he China has stolen so much technology secrets and jobs from the US that if if China if if Trump was to allow the rate to change he wouldn't have a hope or prayer on that, okay? Cuz China would be coming into a ton of new money. Okay, so here's my point to you. Okay, I know that, out uh, again, outsiders have told you the markets and the China trade had nothing to do with this. But I want you to look at something closely. Facts will prove them to be 100% wrong. If you look at how the China trade agreement just got derailed, if you look at that, and then now look at, look at how much news you're seeing about Iraq's elections on finishing the remainder of it, okay, and... On hold on a second, yeah, on on the elections and so forth, as well as the reconstruction. You're not hearing much about either of those two anymore, and that that came into play as soon as the China trade agreement got derailed. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, and remember, guys, it's this is not just all about Iraq. Iraq has a lot of outside external influence, guys. Trump's heavily involved with Iraq, okay? And I will promise you Trump has a lot to do with the timing of this, okay? So where am I going with this, guys? We, we're going to have to keep our eyes just on everything happening around us, stick to the facts. Guys, I'll, I'm here with you till the end, okay? Um, we'll, we'll walk this thing out to the end and we'll finish. But here's what I want you to keep in mind was the China trade agreement can roll in the next year, Okay? I don't have a time frame on it and I'm not here to I'm not here to um you know sugarcoat this or, or lie to you. I'm here to just tell you the truth. It is what it is. I, I'm in the same boat you guys are in, okay? I can't make this any better or any worse. It, it is what it is. It has to it just has to play out and it has to happen, guys. I strongly feel the China trade agreement has to see resolution because China has dinar and it's very important to the US that they close and seal that deal okay because of what china has because of what china has done to the us okay china has been burning and screwing the us for way too long okay but that's the point i wanted to raise to you that it was as fast as the china trade agreement got derailed recently notice how you are no longer seeing articles now about reconstruction and about iraq's the formation of iraq's government guys and you've had you've had other other gurus and stuff chiming in, telling you that China trade has nothing to do with this. Look at the facts; proves them to be completely wrong. Guys, I just want to share this with you again. We're in this together. We're going to walk you through the end. We'll get through this, but guys, I still think we have quite a ways to go. Um, I personally, I think there's quite a bit longer to go. Unfortunately, now with what's happened with the China trade, okay. Um, let's see, we're going to just gonna have to see how the news plays out, guys. I don't even want to sit here and try to give you, I don't want to sit here and tell you September, October. You guys have already seen a ton of articles 
about October anyway, talking about that's when the proxy positions end. Uh, yesterday, an article came out saying that's when uh, the NASDAQ and the ISX were going to do that um, that software upgrade agreement. And it was going to you know, go into effect in October. But, but guys, let me, let, let's paint a different picture. Okay, let's say a bunch of key things are happening in October. What's the point? What would be the point for Iraq to change the rate at the end of the year with two to three months remaining? There is no, there, it's not a beneficial time point, guys. They, they need, Iraq would either need to change the rate at the beginning of the year or the middle of the year, guys. Guys, I think, I think we're done in this and I think we're, we're looking more towards next year, guys. And I'm not saying this to hurt anybody or upset anybody. Guys, I'm just sharing the facts with you and it is what it is. I mean, we're all in this together. You guys have a wonderful day. Take care.